the Third Way Alliance, uh, which has been calling itself the official opposition now, uh, is given an address as well on the very latest. Uh, and the leader, Ekuru Okot, uh, is, uh, we can now listen into what he has to say. Key problems. Number one is divisive politics, a uh, divisive political climate, which is being propagated by a, a, a known clique or political class. Number two is a selfish and conniving political class. Again, a uh, very um, known clique of, uh, of, of politicians. Number three is the refusal to address historical injustice, again, by the same, same political class. Number four is dangerous politics that is actually threatening the very, uh, you know, very unity of our nation and the country. Now, with those four problems, uh, this is why we are proposing the following 14-point agenda for Kenya. Number one is ending theft of public money. As you may know that Kenya sometimes borrows 700 billion, we also steal 700 billion. And therefore, it depri deprives Kenyans of the services they need, health, education, roads, uh, and all that. The second agenda we are putting on the table is on health care. Um, as you know that the, the health of any nation is its wealth. Um, we've noted what NHIF does pays 10 billion annually to hospitals in India. Uh, this is money that could actually be used to refurbish, improve our hospitals, level four, level five, and our referral hospital, Kenyatta, and the Moi Teaching and Referral Hospitals. We also know that this is money that could actually be used uh, to, to, to give study grants, uh, postgraduate study grant to doctors to specialize on certain programs that could actually uh, benefit Kenyans in the country. Agenda number three for us is on education. You know, there has been promises of free education in this country, but nobody ever implements it. We as a country, as a party, note that education is the greatest investment you can give to a nation. Um, there is currently a discriminatory free education for day scholars. We want free education to be given to all our learning institutions, at least public institutions. Agenda number four for us is water. I mean, we point out the fact that if you look at what's happening in the city of Cape Town uh, in South Africa, they only have like two, three months before the entire city could run dry. We believe water is a constitutional right it's provided for in, a, in chapter four of our Kenya constitution. And this is an agenda that we need Kenyans to discuss how clean and piped water should be in each and every household of, 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 of our country. Agenda number five is food security and the cost of living. We know that it's shameful 55 years later after independence that Kenyans are perennially exposed to starvation and death. And therefore, we believe that um, we can do so much in terms of ensuring that there is food uh, in, in, uh, in, for each and every household in Kenya. Number six is employment creation. We want Kenyans or government to go beyond just promising Kenyans employment arising out of infrastructure and actually create employment uh, in each and every county in this country. This is, this is the kind of conversation we need to have and we have proposed a detail on how this can be done in our, in our document. Number seven is ending tribalism and negative ethnicity in Kenya. We note that uh, negative ethnicity is threatening this country more than Al-Shabaab and other terrorist groups. So this is a conversation we must have. We must coexist. There is no choice about it. Um, number eight is strengthen devolution. Uh, we, we want to propose that more money be sent to the counties, but we also want to say we must follow that money. Uh, for the last five years, we have not followed this money. We have noted billions of Kenyan shillings being looted. Agriculture, for example, is devolved uh, to the counties, but money that goes there for agriculture is being stolen. So we want this money to be, uh, to be followed. Security reforms is, 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 a, is, a, is a must. We believe that under Article 6, Article 187, and Article 189, you can actually transfer function of security between the two levels of government, the national and the county government, under an agreement. So the idea here is that every Kenyan must be safe wherever they are. Uh, in fact, we've seen it's no longer safe to be in the city of Nairobi. If you are a lady with wigs, you can't even walk the street comfortably with the hearings. So there's so much insecurity in this country. So let's begin to think about what are the innovative ways in which we can transfer this function and power to the country so that people can, can feel comfortable. Um, public debt is another one. Uh, we've seen that um, uh, not many Kenyans actually know how much they owe. We know it's about 100,000 per person per head. Uh, in this country, even a pregnancy now, uh, you owes about 100,000 Kenyan shillings to somebody. So our proposal is that not more than 20% of what we collect here should be paid um, uh, to settle uh, this uh, debt. 
The 11th agenda we are proposing is the liberalization of power generation and development of inter-counties highway. We think this will make cheap. The monopoly by KPLC and uh, Kenjian is actually a robbery on Kenyans. We've seen in the recent past what they do with bills, they manipulate bills, and this is because they enjoy this monopoly. We want this liberalized. We want counties that can generate geothermal, uh, solar, and other sources of wind and other sources of renewable energy to be given the opportunity uh, to generate this energy and redistribute the national grid. Number 12 is a referendum to reduce the number of parliament. We have noted as a party that there is over-representation without value to it. Currently we have about 430-something uh, members of parliament. We are proposing that we reduce our national parliamentarians to 194 maximum. This will reduce the cost, the current cost for running our parliament is 21 billion annually. Even if you are to pay the 439 of them a million every month, that is only 5 billion. So the other, about 15 billion, we don't know where it's coming from. And this is all just because we don't have a working parliament. We have a parliament that is cheapened itself to just the politics of the party without necessarily serving the people of Kenya. And we note that uh, the role of parliamentarians is to legislate and play oversight authority. So together with strengthening the evolution, we can even have more competent MCAs or member of parliament. Our parliament should attract the elite, the cream de la cream of our society. People who can actually think about legislation, policies, critique them, and even be able to negotiate with the government of the day on real issues, not just on party matters. Agenda number 13 is appointment of cabinet secretaries. We are wondering why President Uhuru Kenyatta has taken over five months since August to identify a cabinet that can serve the people of Kenya, can begin to, to make sure that services are received by the people of Kenya. Perhaps he should borrow from his uh, uh, fellow president of Liberia, uh, George Weah, who just appointed his cabinet on the second day after being sworn in. Uh, I mean, this is, this is an injustice to Kenya. Even we, as Stadway Alliance, who want to play our critical role of official opposition, we want to mirror uh, those cabinet secretaries. And uh, the sooner President, Mo President Uhuru appoints this shadow cabinet, I mean his cabinet, rather, we will then appoint our shadow cabinet to mirror each one of those uh, cabinet uh, secretaries. The last agenda item is the role of the media in, uh, in developing uh, or retrogressive society. We feel that the media uh, has not been truthful to the people of Kenya in reporting on issues of national importance. For example, on the very mediocre issue of uh, somebody wanting to form a parallel government, um, the media should be able to read Article 3, sub-Article 2, that prohibits anyone to attempt to form a parallel government. And media has not actually criticized this. So we believe that if you were to read the constitution critically, then you will be able to inform Kenya because we watch your news, we read your newspapers. So be truthful to the people of Kenya. That is a 14-point agenda for national conversation that Third Way Alliance is putting on the table. And I think if we discuss these issues immediately and we are ready to start this